welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Sundays with Sully. As always, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for checking it out. If you haven't done so already, go to YouTube, hit the subscribe. If you're on Instagram, give us a follow. And, uh, oh yeah, Facebook, give us a follow to stay up to date with the latest marine tip techs and trends and all that good stuff. We got a lot of good content coming. We're going to be doing a lot more longer videos for you guys onto our YouTube channel, a little more in depth with our installs and some of our how to's. You're definitely going to be following along in the new year. So that's out of the way. What are we talking about today? Well, I got this guy right here. This was just released at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show a couple weeks ago, so we put our orders in and they're starting to show up. What is it? This is the Garmin Phantom 24X radar. So what makes this different other than the fact they put an X on the end of the radar? This is a 50 watt output radar. This is the same power output as the Garmin 54 four foot open array radar. This is a 50 watt power. This thing's putting out a lot of juice, which means you're going to get a better picture, which means you know there's a whole litany of things that are going to come along with just having more power. But not only is that on the 24, that's also available on the 18 inch dome as well. So 18 or 24 inch dome, both of those are going to be 50 watts and it's available in white or now in black. So now you've got some color options without having to pay the uh, shop to paint your radar or worry about the guys doing the paint and maybe you use metallic paint and now your radar doesn't work because of the metallic paint. Yeah, ask me how we know about that one. So a couple little things we talk about on this radar. Like we said, not only is it the uh, 50 watt, if you're a cruiser, if you're a sailboater and you're worried about power consumption, this is a solid state radar. That means when it's sitting in standby mode, it is drawing less than half an amp and it has an instant on feature. You can turn it on and when it is on at max full power, you're still drawing less than five amps. Uh, I got to look at my little uh, handy dandy note sheet I've got down here. So, and then they've got what they call a power save mode, which is going to kind of reduce that power of that radar down. And you're drawing about two to two and a half, somewhere around in there. Uh, amps. There's some variables in there, obviously. So this is a very low power draw. So it's really great for the sailboaters, really great for the cruisers. If somebody were worried about your power consumption, this also has the ability to do a 60 RPM return uh, cycle on it. So that means a faster spin rate, which means faster returns. So if you're out there and you're looking for birds, this is going to do it a little better because now we're spinning it up even faster. We're getting our returns even quicker. So we've got that built into it. Now, some of you are asking, what's the difference between an 18 and a 24 inch dome if they're both 50 watts? Well, at the end of the day, it really comes down to the horizontal beam width. And that's basically, if we're thinking about it, is how wide of a picture is that thing painting as it's sweeping by? Meaning how much target separation are we going to get? With that 18 inch dome, uh, use my cheat sheet here, guys. We're at about a uh, 5.2 um, degrees beam width angle. Whereas when we go down or we go up to the 24, we go down to about a 3.7 degree. So we're really closing that up. So we're gonna get better target separation. So if you have the room to fit the 24, spend a couple extra pennies and get the 24 inch dome. The power consumption is the same and you're gonna get a little bit better picture response back. So, um, yeah, I think that's highlights of that. Um, so that's it. That is the Garmin Phantom 24 X radar. As I said, it is available as an 18 X as well. We're going to start installing some of these. And when we get them out of the water here, we're going to show you guys some of the footage of what these things are capable of and what's going on with them. So, uh, yeah, so we got, that's this week's Sundays with Sully. As always, guys, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for checking us out. Like I said in the beginning, did you find it useful? Hit the subscribe, like, share button down there. Tell your friends about us. We love getting more people involved in the marine industry and getting you to be better educated boaters. Um, we've got a lot of cool projects coming on, and we're going to have a lot more video and a lot more content coming forward for you guys in 2022. So be sure to give us a follow. And uh, that's it. That's all I got. Peace. <music>